I enjoy most about working at the Innovate Center is the diversity of tasks so that I can be involved in many different projects and I think that's a really good thing. Okay, my name is Toby, um, I'm from Germany originally and I've got a medical background. I think what attracted me to the Masters was the, the very unique mix of, of themes and topics that um, it covered. So having the, um, the opportunity to learn more about um, psychoanalysis, theoretical and conceptual foundations of it, getting a bit of a sense of how it might be used clinically as well, plus then to um, have a completely different um, perspective on, on some of the psychological phenomena that we were talking about um, from a neuroscience point of view. I think this, this particular combination uh, was something that I, I'd never heard about to begin with, um, certainly not in, a, in, a, in an academic or, or educational um, context. I knew that some people were trying or had started at the time to, to, use, to use this particular perspective in their research work, but I definitely didn't know about another way to, for myself to learn more about it. Um, also, I, I knew a little bit about um, the, um, the history of the Anna Freud Center already, and it was also appealing to have the, the chance to, um, to move to, to the United States um, for a year and see what academic life would be like there, to, to make use of the um, resources that uh, we would have at, at Yale University. Having done and completed the MSc gave me, in a way, a good grounding in the um, new science methodology and also a broader perspective on, on psychoanalytic psychodynamic concepts, theories, um, and in turn has enabled me to then carry on with that line of, of research. So what I'm doing now is, broadly speaking, still trying to find a way of using psychodynamic concepts um, to see how they can inform um, neuroscience research. So at the moment I'm, I'm working in the EEG lab of the Anna Freud Center. Uh, where we're doing a couple of um, electrophysiology studies and we're also looking at the influence of, say for example, um, participants' um, attachment, representation. So we're very much interested in um, individual differences and how they can account for variants of the, the um, electrophysiological data that we collect. I'm also involved in, in another research project which is actually um, a collaboration between um, computational neuroscience at UCL and the Anna Freud Center where we will be looking at with neuroimaging methodology at ways of approximating to the um, therapeutic interaction that or factors underlying it, neurobiological factors underlying it that might occur when a patient is seen by his therapist.